Every Linux user picking Fedora eventually chooses between two flagship editions, right? Fedora 43 GNOME Workstation ships with three brand new applications and goes Wayland only. Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop delivers automatic updates and flexible window tiling. Both run identical Linux kernel 6.17, identical, with the same developer tools underneath. I mean, I don't know it yet, like... Coffee, spelled backwards, is EFOC, which is funny, because until I've had my coffee, I don't give EFOC about anything. Same energy, buddy, because until I've studied this thing, I don't give EFOC about anything they say. I analyze desktop experiences, resource usage, and what actual users report about daily workflows to see which Fedora edition deserves your installation. Let's start with the fundamental shift. Fedora 43 GNOME Workstation makes history by removing X11 packages entirely from repositories. GNOME Upstream deprecated X11 support and plans complete removal in GNOME 50. Every user runs pure Wayland now. Legacy X11 applications still function through X Wayland compatibility layer. Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop takes the compatibility approach, still supports X11 where users need it while defaulting to Wayland, ships Plasma 6.4.5 with Framework 6.8 and KDE Gear 25.08. Freshly installed applications? They get tagged with green new labels for easy discovery. Each virtual desktop supports unique tile layouts now. Resource consumption reveals surprising differences. GNOME 49 optimized background throttling to improve performance and battery life. The desktop manages system resources aggressively. Typical idle RAM usage sits around 600 to 700 megabytes. Idle memory consumption? It ranges from 450 to 550 megabytes. That's approximately 20 to 30 percent. 20 to 30% less RAM than GNOME, despite offering significantly more customization options. Emotional, damn it! KDE Plasma ships Discover Software Center with automatic flat hub install button support. Dolphin File Manager offers split views and extensive customization. Console Terminal provides profiles for different workflows. Applications embrace power user features over simplicity. But let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! <laughs> okay, sorry. Let me tell you something about what you're getting. 20 to 30% less RAM usage, despite more features, flexible tiling with per desktop layouts, automatic updates in the immutable variant, HDR calibration wizard for color critical work, and session choice instead of forced migration. So what's the verdict? Look. If you want the absolute latest GNOME experience, modern, Wayland-only environment, and opinionated application choices, Fedora 43 GNOME Workstation wins on cohesion. Three new default apps demonstrate serious commitment to modern frameworks. Complete X11 removal eliminates legacy baggage. But for users wanting proven desktop stability, lower memory consumption, and flexibility between Wayland and X11, I mean, Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop is just better than Fedora GNOME Workstation. If this helped you choose between GNOME's focused simplicity and KDE's flexible power, excellent. I compare Fedora editions so you understand the actual differences before downloading and installing your system. Hey, Mark here. <clears throat> okay, look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might roast next week. That would be awkward. <laughs> If this review helped you out or saved you from wasting money, here's how you can support what we're doing. First, I've put the link to this product in the description. If you buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second, there's another link down there that goes straight to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it and use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or restocking on toilet paper. A tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. All right, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. <laughs>